Hoopla Kids. Hi kids, I'm Kent, the elephant. How are you today? Woohoo, I'm great too. I am having a lovely sit down with a nice cup of tea and I'm going to read one of my favourite stories. Do you know what it is? Have a look at the front cover and see if you can guess. <laughs> That's right, there are three little pigs and that is the name of the story. It's a great story about how three little pigs go off into the big wide world to fend for themselves and build themselves some houses. But can you guess, when trouble comes along, which house will be the strongest? Let's open it and see, shall we? Here we go. The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there lived three little pigs with their mother in a lovely cottage in the woods. One day, Mother Pig called them all together and said, My little darlings, it is now time for you to leave this home and go and fend for yourself in the big wide world. She also told them, Whatever you do in life, make sure you do it to the best of your ability. Work hard, don't be lazy, and all will be well. Off you go. So the three little pigs packed up their bags and off they went. They walked and they walked and after a little while they came to a lovely patch of land that they thought would be perfect to build their new homes. So the first little pig decided to build his house with straw. Off he went to fetch some straw and he quickly built his house. His older brothers said to him, Are you sure that this house is going to be safe for you to live in? It's not very strong or secure made with straw. And the little pig said, I'll be fine, don't worry brothers. So off the other two pigs went to build their houses. So the second little pig decided to build his house with sticks a little distance away from his brother's straw house. He went into the forest and collected lots of wood and started to put his house together. He built a beautiful wooden hut and it didn't take too long to build either. His big brother said to him, Are you sure that your house is sturdy enough? Or what if something happens? Can you be sure that you'll be safe in your house made of just wood? And the little pig said, Don't worry, brother. I'll be fine. <laughs> so that little pig went and relaxed in his new wooden home. And the big brother walked on a little further. Finally, the big brother came to a patch of land near to his two brothers' houses and decided to start building his home there. He decided to make a house with bricks because they were plenty sturdy and strong enough. So he started to build his house and it took some time. <laughs> Meanwhile, his brothers came round and started playing outside. They were taunting their big brother and saying, Why are you making so much effort to build this house? It's taking you ages. Look how quickly we built our houses. And they laughed at their big brother, but he just kept on building. It took him two weeks to finish his house, but finally, when it was done, he had a wonderful strong sturdy brick house and he went inside shut the door and relaxed and the other two brothers went back to their houses some time later a hungry wolf was walking by and he saw the house made with straw with a little pig inside and he thought to himself oh that will make a tasty breakfast so he called out to the little pig little pig little pig let me come in or i'll have and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And the little pig said, No, I won't let you in. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew his house in. And the little pig ran as fast as he could to his brother's house, which was made of wood. Let me in, let me in, he shouted, banging on the door. So his brother let him in and shut the door. Soon after, the hungry wolf came along and shouted outside the wooden house, Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And the little pig shouted, You won't blow my house down, it's made of wood. But the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew his house down. So the two little pigs ran as fast as they could to their big brother's house made of bricks. They banged on the door saying, let us in, let us in. So their big brother opened the door, let them in and bolted the door from the inside. The two brothers explained to their big brother what had happened and the wolf soon came along to the brick house shouting, little pigs, little pigs, let me come in or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. I'm very hungry now. 
So the three little pigs stood inside the brick house and the big brother was very confident that the wolf would not be able to blow his house down. The wolf huffed and he puffed and he could not blow the brick house down no matter how hard he tried. It was just too strong. So the wolf thought of another idea how he could get into the house. He looked up and he saw a chimney. Oh, I can climb up the wall and go down the chimney. Then I can have all three pigs for my supper. So he climbed up, but the big brother pig saw what the wolf was trying to do and thought very quickly. He lit a fire beneath the chimney and put a big pot of water, heating it so it would be super hot. The wolf jumped down the chimney straight into the pot of boiling water. Oh, he cried, I'm burning, let me out. And the three little pigs stood there and looked at each other and thought how happy they were to be safe. The wolf didn't eat them after all. The next day they decided to walk home to their mother to see how she was doing and tell her everything that had happened with the wolf. Once they told her the story, she said, See, little pigs, I told you, always work hard and don't be lazy and you will be OK. And the two younger brothers were never lazy again. <laughs> wow, that was great. I love that story, don't you? What did you learn from it? I've learned that I should always try my best and if I do anything, I should always do it to the best of my abilities. I shouldn't be lazy. And if I'm super patient and work really hard, I will have the best results, just like the sturdy brick house. And that wolf will never be able to blow it down. <laughs> Well, I hope you've enjoyed our video and if you'd like to read any more stories with me then do let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more of our latest videos. Until next time, bye! Once upon a time lived an old lady and her husband. They lived on a farm with their cat, Fluffy, and their dog, Spot. One day, the little old lady was doing some baking and she had some dough left over. So she decided it would be a great idea to make a gingerbread man with the leftover dough. So she did. She used currants for the eyes and chocolate drops for the buttons. And then she stuck him in the oven to cook. After a little while, the gingerbread man was ready to take out of the oven. So the little old lady opened the oven door, took out the tray with her oven gloves, and suddenly up jumped the gingerbread man. He shot off the tray in a flash and ran towards the kitchen door. The little old lady shouted, Stop! Stop that gingerbread man! But the gingerbread man only said, Run! Run! As fast as you can! You can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man! And he ran out of the door into the garden. So the little old lady panicked and she called to her husband Help me catch the gingerbread man! So the woman and the man ran after the gingerbread man but they couldn't catch him. The gingerbread man was just hopping over the cat Fluffy when the old lady's husband shouted Hey Fluffy! Stop the gingerbread man! So the woman and the man and the cat all ran after the gingerbread man but the gingerbread man only said Run! Run! As fast as you can! You can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man! The gingerbread man kept running through the garden and ran around the dog Spot who was chasing his tail. And the old lady shouted Hey! Spot! Help us stop the gingerbread man! So the woman and the man and the cat and the dog all ran after the gingerbread man. But the gingerbread man only sang Run! Run! As fast as you can! You can't catch me! I'm the gingerbread man! The gingerbread man came to a field and in the field was me, Kent the elephant. I love living on a farm. The old woman shouted to me, Kent, help us catch the gingerbread man. So the woman and the man and the cat and the dog and me all ran after the gingerbread man. But we couldn't catch him and the gingerbread man only kept saying, run, run. As fast as you can, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. You, then the gingerbread man climbed over a wall and ended up at a wide river. It was too deep to cross and the gingerbread man said, Oh no, I can't cross this river, what shall I do? When suddenly a sly fox saw and smelled the delicious gingerbread man, walked on over and said, I will help you cross the river. Why don't you climb on my back? 
So the gingerbread man climbed onto the fox's back, thanking him for helping him cross the river. And the fox was swimming across the river, but the water was splashing up and getting the gingerbread man's feet wet. So the fox said, Why don't you hop onto my head? That way you won't be getting wet. The gingerbread man said, Thanks, that's a great idea. And hopped onto the fox's head. That worked. So the fox kept swimming, thinking, This is a good idea. Let's get the gingerbread man a bit closer to my mouth. So he sunk down deeper into the water so that the gingerbread man's feet got wet again. And the fox said, Why don't you jump onto my nose? Then you won't get wet. So the gingerbread man said, Brilliant idea. Thank you, Mr Fox. And jumped onto the fox's nose. And then suddenly, snap, snap. The fox ate him up in one big bite. And that was the end of the gingerbread man. So you see, the moral of this story is you can't trust everybody you meet. (laughs) 